First of all, uh, the African Canadian, my name is Margaret Parsons, I'm the Executive Director at the African Canadian Legal Clinic. And we're a legal organization that provides um, legal services, free legal services to the African Canadian community across Ontario. The ACLC would like, first of all, to offer our very sincere and heartfelt condolences to Mrs. Agane and her family on the horrific and untimely death of her beloved son, Kumi. We're not surprised, however, to hear about this case, as was also stated by our colleague and ally, um, Faisal Koudi. This case speaks to the systemic racism experienced by African Canadians every day in the criminal justice, the correctional and mental health systems across this province. The disproportionate number of African Canadians that are incarcerated or in some way involved in the criminal justice system and the treatment they receive screams for greater uh, scrutiny and attention, not only from the government, but the media, public institutions like the Ontario Human Rights Commission and human rights organizations. There's more concern, there's more scrutiny, there's more call for accountability, there's more call for justice when an animal is hurt in this country. When an animal is mistreated or isn't given proper care, someone is always prosecuted. We see it on the news. Black men have gone to jail because animals, uh, for mistreating animals. But no one is being held accountable or wants or parents to seem to want to be held accountable for the mistreatment of Kulmi and the death of Kulmi. The inhumane treatment and, de and, and death of Kulmi Agony brings into question the conduct and behavior of officials at the Oak Ridge Mental Health Care Center. Kulmi frequently reported to his family racist comments made by guards and an atmosphere that included race racist taunts, telling him that he's now in a white institution in a white place. There are no black people here to help him. Frequent use of the N-word. And this certainly, um, there was a complete disregard and intolerance for his desire to observe and practice his Muslim faith. The family and the African Canadian Legal Clinic believes that there was total disregard for his human dignity and he was treated like an animal while at the Oak Ridge Mental Health Center. The family and the community are not satisfied and we are not willing to simply walk away without any answers and have Kumi's death swept under the rug. We are highly suspicious of the treatment Kumi received while at the penit and the treatment he received while at this mental health center and the circumstances surrounding his death. Since March of 2009, the family has been calling on the police to do its duty and fully and thoroughly investigate his death. However, the family appears to be facing many challenges and barriers in getting the cooperation of the OPP. Sadly, this is not surprising, as it's symptomatic of the failure of the criminal justice system to protect African Canadians when we are victims. We are always the perpetrators, but never the victims and never in need of care and protection. We can no longer afford for the criminal justice system and the mental health uh, to, to be the entry point for treatment and care for individuals that have a mental illness. This has to stop. The African Canadian Legal Clinic joins the Agane family and the community in calling for a full and fair investigation by the OPP into the horrific death of their beloved son and brother. The ACLC will continue to support the Agane family until an investigation is done and justice is, is served. We have always supported Kumie when he was alive and we will continue to support him in his death. Thank you and we stand in solidarity with you.